Oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this is what we're looking for in fairy tale. Forces joining together and everyone breaking through the one. With this number of people, no matter how the dangerous enemy, it just gives you so much energy realizing. And on top of that, the man that everybody have been talking about the last eight months finally came back. And let me tell you, he looks cooler than ever. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a moment. As Fairytale now celebrates its 10th anniversary. anniversary. It was said it was going to be some special news uh, for this. Uh, but all I see from the special news is... Um, Autographed sketches from the mangaka of the weekly magazine. I mean, we see Manny from Fuka, Dr. Prisoner, Baby Step, Steps, Seven Little Sins, and Daisy. So, what are these autographs? Are they the ones to the creator of Fairytale for everything wonderful he did? It doesn't matter. What matters is in this chapter as it begins, as hungry as hell, as the team of Ersa, Lucy, Yuvia, Grey and Natsu with Happy sees the sea of enemy. As they wonder what will happen, they realize they have to break through, through with it, no matter the what. And the enemy is not waiting for them. They're gonna come to them, but they're still gonna break through them. And every step counts. Of course, they can waste their energy fighting the mooks, even if the mooks are strong. Still, one wonders. So, uh, Grey M. Nuts uh, makes a little competition on who is gonna take uh, out Sere first. Well, tell you what, Grey, once you hear the truth about E and D, well, what will you say to them? Of course, Natsu seems to be hungry. No, no, why, you come, why how it comes that he is the only one who's hungry. But that's a kind of kill thing. Happy is still worried about what Nuts know what uh, Seref said, but he is gonna find a way. So tell me something. How can he find a way? I can only know one thing that can save people, and that's not just the power of friendship, but uh, Lumen Historia, Fairy Heart. I think that can save Sun. Not so, because then it can. Um, maybe they can break the book boundary and make him his own person. Who knows? But the team rushes in. And they of course overwhelm the number. Because well, these guys are mooks. But they will still waste their energy. And they get reinforcements with Wendy. Who appears very soon. And also um, Elfman who seems to have gotten a new uh, beast soul. Something like an ape. Yukino and Sorano are there too. So... Uh, and elsewhere, I do not know why Max is there. I mean, that annoying fairy tale brat should just have gone and died. But at least Kana and Makarov are also there. Of course, overwhelming the mooks awakens the Historia. Well, not really awakens the Historia, but uh, you can almost see. As he summons uh, an avatar looking of all the dragon's lacrimas in his body, as the Historia stands before the other members, he tries to do the Purijuratory. But uh, even though Natsu eats the flame, he again gets overwhelmed with the Sea King dragon, whom he melts together with his magic. And then uh, it begins to, then the Historia of uh, God Serena begins to use uh, his Gale uh, dragon. But then his magic gets suppressed. You tell me. Someone could actually suppress the strongest uh, wizard in uh, Fiore's magic. Well, granted, this is only a Historia, but they, the Historias have been noted to have just the same power as uh, they were alive. At least only the power they had alive. And who is it that broke it? It's Gildots! <laughs> oh, yeah! Finally, the strongest member of Fairy Tale has returned, and as I said before, he looks bad as his coat.
has become more furry. I think his abs have become even bigger. He has gotten a beard, beard. his hair is longer. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems his prosthetic arm has gotten a major upgrade. Can be wrong. Maybe just uh, look a little bit more stylish, but it looks uh, very much more impressive. As Kana smiles at seeing her father again, the god said that I can only become angry. But Gilda says he is hungry as hell, so step aside, boy. I'm gonna take back the guild. Ah, oh, yes! This was a shop that we needed! Hope! That's what we needed. Granted, however, now people are always gonna say that. People will always say, would August and um, Gildarts fight? Because, well, you know who they are. Given how Gildarts look now, it seems that that fight is actually uh, possible. But they have not defeated the Historia of God Serena yet. So, um, if Gildarts struggles with him, then we will have a very big problem. But maybe... He will awaken uh, Kana's real power here and everything will go well. All in all, it was a simple chapter. Nothing special happened. The fairy tale rushed in. The greatest part was, without any doubt, the return of Gildats. But uh, still, the you could almost feel the energy coming in here. The, the, the Historia of Serena, well, he wasn't really that... Well, he was impressive because, well, he can meld his uh, Lacrima Dragon Slayer magic with his other. But, uh, but Natsu couldn't eat the flames once the seawater has come in, in the power. But the thing is that, in knowing me, he was said to have, what was it, eight Lacrimas? We have only seen four. Was it five? We still haven't seen the rest. It would be good to see them before he dies, because he must die. Well, fairy tale has gotten a very huge reinforcement. The question is, again, is this reinforcement enough for uh, to at least get a little bit farther ahead? Well, it better! And as I said before, Yukino and Sorano have also joined it up. That means it's only a matter of time before the rest do too. Yes, as I said before, every single guild will be there. And no matter the power of the Spring and Twelve, the guild, the guilds joined together will not lose. Still, Serena is the first, uh, well, he's only a Historia, but the Historia of God Serena is the first uh, shield. What will happen after that? That's the question. All in all, the return of Gildats really got me hyped up and really gave me hope. So please don't waste that. So, um, next week's chapter is simply called Forward. All in all, I think that's gonna be the, some members staying back while others move ahead. Gildas will stay behind and maybe deal with Serena. Then who will deal with August? Give me your thoughts if you have any.